All right, so we're just going to draw vectors in this video. Um, to draw a vector, you need two points. So we'll put a first point right here. We'll call this A. And A is located at 2, 1. And then we will, let's put our second point here. Call this point B. Oops. Point B. Uh, point B is located at 5, 4. So now when we draw a vector going from A to B, it looks like so. And now what we've done, we've created the tail of the vector at A and the head of the vector at B. And we've drawn the vector now in bold, A, B. And the arrow uh, means that it's going from A to B. So now if we want to find out the components of A, we, we need to take some information from the coordinates of the head and the tail. So we'll go up here and we'll say point A has the general coordinates A1, A2, and we know that these are 2, 1, 2, 1. And we know that the point B, we would say the point B is the general coordinates of B1, no, it's not working, B1 and B2. And we do know that B's actual coordinates are 5, 4, like that. So what we're going to do is we take uh, vector AB, and what we have to say is its components are equal to B1 minus A1, the first component, and the second component is equal to B2 minus A2. Uh, and if we look at this, it's going to be 5 minus 2 is the first component. 5 minus 2. And the second component is 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1. And then we find out that vector AB has the components 3, 3. So we could have solved that, or we can confirm that graphically, I guess. So if we start here on the x-axis at the tail of the vector, we just count over, we go 1, 2, 3. So we find out that the vec x is in fact 3, and the y component, we start here and we go 1, 2, 3. And correct, we have found that the y component is also 3. So now the other information that this gives us is that this vector that we're looking at has a positive x shadow. And what that means is that if you start at the tail of the vector and move towards the head along the x-axis, we're actually increasing towards positive infinity. So uh, we get a positive x shadow. And you can see the same thing for the y shadow. We start at the tail, and as we move along the y-axis towards the head, we're increasing towards positive infinity. So the, this vector AB also has a positive y shadow. Now, if we had a vector, say, for example, that looked like this, it would still have a positive x shadow, but now it would have a negative y shadow. So it's just, anyways, moving on. So now if we start, say we want to start and look at some different points, right? So we'll pick point C, completely different points. So say this is point C. Point C is located at negative 3, 0. And we'll say, we'll pick this as point D. Say point D is equal to, oops, I don't need that, is equal to, uh, it's at the point 0, 3, right? It's right there. And so now if we draw a vector, if we want to draw a vector in bold C, D, from C to D, we'll go here, like that. And now we want to see what vector C, D is equal to. So it's 0 minus negative 3 is equal to 3 and 3 minus 0 is 3. So this is the same 3, 3 as over here. So we can say vector CD is equal to vector AB. And these are both equal to the vector 3, 3. So what I'm trying to show here is that you can have the same vector, 3, 3, and no matter where you put this vector, 3, 3, as long as the x component is 3 and the y component is 3, it will always be the same vector. So if we came over here, that was 3, 3, or we could 
we could draw one down here. As long as its x component is 3 and the y component is 3, I think you kind of see that now you can move it anywhere. You can put one over here if you want it. Right? And now, if we decide to put the tail at the origin at 0, 0, and then draw the same vector 3, 3, we would get one that looks like this. And when we draw it like this blue one, the, we call that as being drawn in standard position. So that's all there is about drawing vectors. You can move, as long as it has the same components, you can draw it anywhere and it will be the same vector.